Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a business process graph in an application within UiPath's Process Mining. Process Mining is a tool that analyzes and monitors processes and aims to discover, monitor and improve business processes, which can be a customer service, a payment order or a purchase process. In a traditional model, process mapping is performed by teams that need to come together to understand all the steps in the process. In general, this results in an unassertive picture of the business process. In turn, process mining displays a real image of the process through the use of event logs generated by an application, such as which activities were performed, the person responsible for each one of them, the time each one of them took, among several other factors. Within UiPath process mining, a process graph is a simple and effective way to visualize the events of the process, as well as the sequence in which they happen. Thus, it is possible to check compliance, detect deviations, among other possibilities. We will be creating several videos about process mining, and in each one of them, we will enrich the event data so that new views and queries can be made. So, let's go to the workflow. So, I have here a spreadsheet that contains logs of an application related to the payment of invoices. Each one of these columns here contains data about each invoice that was processed. For example, here in the activity column I have the names of the activities or events that happen in the process. I have here the case ID column that contains the identification of each unique invoice that was processed. I have the event end column that contains the date that each one of these activities here ended. I have the case owner column that contains the names of the people responsible for each invoice and so on. So the idea of the process mining process graphs is to show this data in a visual and objective way to make the process understanding easier. So it will show the activities that occurred, the order in which they occurred, which invoice is passed in which activity and so on. To create a process graph, there are three columns that are mandatory in every spreadsheet. They are the activity column, I will put them here in bold, the case ID and the event end column. Why they are mandatory? Well, by just analyzing these three columns, you can have an idea of the path that each invoice took in this process. To illustrate this better, I will create a filter here and in the case ID column I will choose the 107047 invoice. I click OK. So this data here is related to the this specific invoice, the 107047 invoice. You can see here that based on an even end this invoice follow a specific path. That is, we check the received invoice, received invoice. We then, well, received the invoice. So here it is. There is a final check of this invoice. So here it is, the, the activity. We approve this invoice. Once again, here it is. And lastly, it the invoice is paid. So here we have the activity pay invoice. As I said, this path is particular to this 107047 invoice. There are some invoices that can follow the same path, but there are also invoices that need to be checked to have one more final check or some other specific activity added in their paths. So the process graph will show all of these different alternate paths that these invoices can have. So, now I will proceed to the process mining platform to effectively create a process graph to show you. I have here my process mining platform open and before I begin the development of my application, I want to point out that UiPath already provides a standard application for process mining, the App1. This application already contains many dashboards covering different views of the inputted data, including process graphs. But my goal here is to really show the creation of a graph from scratch, so I'll continue. Okay, first thing here is creating a new workspace. I will call it demo. And inside it, 
I will create a new application also called demo. Okay, here it is. Let me just open it. So here I am prompted to input a data source that is going to be the spreadsheet I just showed you. So here it is, cases events input. I just drag it here and hit OK. OK, the spreadsheet was uploaded. Here it is, cases events input. And inside it, we have all the columns that I showed you, including the three mandatory ones, the activity, case ID, and even end. With these columns in hand, I can just create our process graph. Let me just rename this menu here to demo, the tab to process graph, and the dashboard, also process graph. And I will delete this chart here that it was automatically created. Created. Okay. We go here to new process graph and select the cases events input. Just rename it once again to process graph. Here it is. This we can configure. This is the tab to configure my process graph. You can see here that, uh, that we have many configurations that can be, can be made, but for now, I'll just keep it simple. I will just fill the case ID, activity, and even end fields. So, it's basically drag and drop. You grab here the activity and put here on activity. Case ID, we put here, and when I put the even end here, the process graph will automatically appear here on the right. So. And here it is. This is our process graph showing some of the possible paths that the invoices can take. Here in the middle, we have the main path that the invoices take. That also happens to be the path that the invoice I showed you also takes. So we have the check received invoice activity, the receive invoice, the final check of invoice, the approved invoice, and pay invoice activities. This is the main path of this process. I like to show you guys also the detail bar here. So for now it is in 29%. It will, uh, messing with this detail bar, we, we increase or decrease the number of alternate paths that the process graph shows. So for example, if I put 0% details, only the main path will appear with the five activities, but as I increase it, more and more paths will keep appearing. And if I just put it to 100%, this is the entire pro oh, sorry, this is the entire process graph with all the possible paths that the invoices take. The last thing that is very cool to show is here the play button, where I can see in real time, which paths each active, each uh, invoice took. So I will just hit play here, and there it goes. The invoice is moving, and if I pause it, I can hover the mouse on one of these little circles, and here's the case ID of this invoice right here. Here I have another, and so on. This goes until the process is finished, the data in the spreadsheet, spreadsheet is finished. So there it goes. This was the ending of my process graph, simple process graph creation. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.